the poster to this movie asked the question, are you agitated? And I like to pose the question, was I agitated and will I be agitated talking about this new movie that I just saw? It's been out a couple weeks, but I finally saw it because of the film festival. I've been really wanting to see this movie because the film festival got in the way, which was a happy get in the way, of course. I finally have seen the movie called The Signal. And what really intrigued me about this movie is that it, it actually starred Lawrence Fishburne. I think it was it was like uh, his return to science fiction. And the rest of the cast is a younger cast, a bunch of young adults that I've seen before in other films. The main star, I really don't know what his name is, but I saw him in Oculus and Maleficent. He is the star of this film and he plays this hacker guy. He has a friend that's a hacker and he also has a girlfriend and they're traveling to California. Sorry about that car alarm. They are traveling to California to take her somewhere in California. I don't know because of school or some sort of job or something. But they're hackers and they're being agitated by this hacker called Nomad. Now Nomad is telling them to come to Nevada. They get to Nevada and they get way over their head are they in uh, some different kind of reality after that? Are they still on Earth? Are they somewhere else? Who's to know? Because I feel like after watching this movie, the filmmakers have no idea what this film is actually about. And I have to say, I was quite agitated in feeling the same. The way that I feel right now is that WTF. I feel like a lot of WTFs. I feel like a lot of WTFing is going on right now. I have no idea really what I just saw right now, but then after completing this movie, right now what comes to mind is I've seen this story told in the science fiction world before. Some movies that come to mind right now is Cube and Dark City. And now, if you've seen this movie and you've seen those films, I don't know if you see the same ideas that I see right now, but these, these ideas have been done before and there's really no surprises at all in this entire film. Again, the movie does look good. The acting by Lawrence Fishburne and the other actors, they're good, especially Lawrence Fishburne. I mean, you can't go wrong with the man. He's a great actor. He's been proved time and time again why he's one of the best actors working. And his performance is really, really captivating. I was really uh, compelled by this movie for a long time. I think about a good 45 minutes to an hour, I really ha it had my attention. And then I felt like uh, the, emp the Emperor's new clothes. I feel like it's really all really about nothing and then when it got to the final moments of the movie it was like wow I've seen this all before this is nothing new uh, this has all been done before in the science fiction world and I understand movies taking ideas that have been done before and then making them their own this movie tries it doesn't uh, succeed and it just left me feeling like this is completely something that's utterly forgettable I again as I talk about it right now I'm really forgetting that this movie actually really happened. It was what I witnessed really happened right now? I, I don't know. I mean, is it something that's going to... It, it definitely doesn't stay with me. I'm, I'm, I'm over it. You know, I don't know what other positives and negatives I can really talk about right now. I really had some excitement for it. I really liked the trailer to the movie. It looked really interesting. I, I like science fiction, and, and I, I was really excited to see this movie. And I even waited over a week to see it. You know, I was I was kind of anticipating this film, and I've left I've left the theater feeling like it's been all done before. It's been done well. I'm agitated in a bad way. I wish I was agitated in a good way to say, "Hey, you gotta see this movie." It's got it takes so many of these different ideas that we've seen before and then changes them, but it doesn't do that. Uh, I don't know what else I can say about. It. I mean, it looks good. There's some really good cinematography. There's some really good shots of action that happens. But there's a lot of stuff going on here that takes a while for it to get to that point. It's, there's a lot of nothingness that makes you just question, like, I, I mean, I like to be questioned. I'm like, uh, I like to have that idea of, like, what is really happening? Is this all going to make sense at the end? And I felt like even the end was a cop-out, and it feels like this movie had, makes no sense whatsoever. And even for movie logic, it kind of throws movie logic out the window. I don't mind if it's not perfect logic. It doesn't make complete perfect sense, but make some side, make some sense at all. Please, please, for the sake of the audience, please get us to care about these characters. I didn't care about whether these characters live or died, and when the final thing was revealed and this whole idea of what this movie's all about, I was just like, okay. 
that's a disappointment. I felt really disappointed by this movie. I was really excited for it. It's not a terrible film. It's not the worst film I've seen ever. But it looks like it could have had a lot of potential. It looks good. The movie's uh, filmed well. The acting's good. But overall, it's a very mind-numbing, agitating, numbing experience. And for that, I'm going to give The Signal, which should have been a really great science fiction movie. I mean, I, I really hoped it would. I'm going to give it just two stars out of four. Boring. I'm Movie Man Chat. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePod.com. And if you've enjoyed this video review, please click right here. Subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've seen The Signal. What did you think about it? Please comment below. Let me know what you thought. And I, wonder, I, I wish you a happy day, a happy night, and a wonderful life. And I'll see you at my next movie review. Peace be with you, my friends.